Welcome to Inside FM Wrestling. I'm Brad Weltmer here for GoDiplomats.com, and joining me is head Franklin Marshall wrestling coach Mike Rogers. Mike, thanks for joining us as always. Uh, thank you for having me. So there's a lot to talk about concerning the fall brawl hosted by Air Sinus last week. Three of your wrestlers ran the table in their bracket. Um, just talk about their performance and what you liked, what you've seen out of them. Yeah, it was a good uh, effort on everyone's part. It was a great day for us um, with having three champs, five guys in the finals, three guys coming out with victories uh, in the finals were great. Um, Rick Durso just was a machine. I think he wrestled a total of uh, six minutes the whole day. <laughs> so, you know, but Rick did uh, exactly what Rick does. You know, he wins and he wins uh, uh, in convincing fashion. Uh, but it was nice, too, to see Alex Henry, our heavyweight, finally put some good matches together. Again, he's been kind of back and forth, and it was good to see him have, you know, three or four consecutive, you know, victories and good matches. He won some by... Uh, you know, tax and couple uh, pen, and then I think he had to battle and win a couple really close ones. So it was a good day for for Alex, and hopefully get him some confidence going into the you know next weekend. And then Andrew Morano, our 57 pounder again, uh, he's still adjusting away. He was a 49 pounder the last three years, so we're moving up to 57. He's starting to make that adjustment a little bit. Wrestling guys are a little bit bigger, and he's finally gotten back on to his pace of wrestling, um, which we didn't see last week. And um, again, him. Now, having him putting, you know, a string of victories together was really good for their confidence and also uh, getting their technique and their conditioning moving was really good this week. Some of your young guys really looked good on Saturday. Uh, Jason Bing, Gordon Bolig, both picked up a pair of victories. How important is it for their confidence to find success like that this early in their freshman campaign? I think it's really important. They... Um, you know, they're both really hard-nosed kids. Uh, they're, getting again, getting used to the college level of wrestling uh, and taking losses. I think they both took a loss in semifinals and coming back through and picking third for both of them uh, shows a lot of uh, poise and, um, and character on their part. Um, so, and again, it was good for us to see them get some victories, see the areas where they, they do well in um, and areas where they need to improve on. They're, again, they're freshmen, so it's hard for us to really know exactly where to coach them and where to go with them um so this was a good weekend to see them have some success also some challenges where we need to move and, and work with them on you know it was really team team effort on saturday all of your wrestlers that competed picked up at least a victory um so your you and your coaching staff had to have been happy with what you've you've seen out of all of your guys as a whole yeah i think uh we all every guy every guy won their first match so it was great for us to come out and really set the tone and, and set the uh, precedent the first match and that's what we we're looking for so everyone got a victory um in the first match out and it was it was good for them to start to kind of get the ball rolling which i think last weekend against army you know a different level of competition but we we kind of sat back and was reacting to what army was doing to us this weekend we went out there and, and took the initiative and we saw the results um and then the two other guys that took second scott stevens did a nice job battling through his weight class won some tough matches and he's kind of guys kind of been plugging away last you know few years chipping away and and um you know he's going to be fighting for some time pretty soon and um sean townsend did a nice job of coming through and taking second as um uh, you know it's his second year but really uh, like we said before he was injured all year so this is really his first year out so to come back and um you know and take second his weight class is really good so it was a great experience for everybody and the whole team out there and um as a coaching staff we were happy with the result kind of what we expected um and it gave us some information to work on and you've got a busy slate ahead of you for this weekend. You've got VMI on Saturday before going to the uh, Strasbourg Open on Sunday. So what are some of your expectations for your team for this upcoming weekend? Um, well, what we'll do, we'll kind of split the team. The, the guys are in the starting lineup will go out to VMI, and everyone else will go to East Strasbourg. Everyone else that's healthy will go out to East Strasbourg and wrestle. So everyone's getting mat time. Mm -hmm. Um, this weekend. So, but VMI is going to be another close one. It's been one of those matches since I've been here. Uh, we've lost uh, well, since I've been here uh, three times to them really close, and we were able to beat them last year. Um, but the, even the last year's victory is really close. So it's going to come down to a lot of close matches. I, I you know, kind of anticipate, you know, just looking on paper. Um, I, I think we're a little bit stronger in the lower weights. Um, they're probably a little bit stronger in the middle upper weights. So it's going to come down to. Um, again, we're probably favored in, you know, I'd say, you know, three bouts. They're probably, you know, favored on paper, you know, three bouts. And so that leaves a lot to be determined. Um, and even the ones that were favored, at, you know, that's going to they're, they're gonna be close matches. So it's going to come down to bonus points. Who's getting bonus points. And just like Army, we had 
you know, three matches or one point matches. We got to win those. We got to win those one, you know, one two point matches. If we can do that, I think we'll have a very solid performance against VMI. And then the East Stroudsburg tournament is everyone else that's going out there. It's going to be a, again another opportunity for them to wrestle two, three, four matches in a day to get a lot of experience in that time. Thanks for joining us. Tune back in next time for a recap of this weekend's contest and a look ahead to the Navy Classic that takes place on November 23rd.